Do you know these three custom formatting of Excel? Let me showcase you how we can use that. So here you can see we have ID, then we have sales column, then date column and then status column. In the sales column, what I want, I want here thousand formatting. So how we can change this to thousands formatting? We can simply select the range where we want the thousand formatting, then we can press control one. We can go to custom part and here in the general, we can simply type the format that is 0, 0.00, then comma, space in double quote we will use k k represent the thousand here so here you can see we are getting 2.50 k if i click on ok i will get all the formatting changed to thousands so if you want to change the date formatting you can select the range then we can press ctrl 1 we can go to custom now i want to change this formatting to dd mmm so what, what we can do we can simply remove this year part and we can use mmm here and we can click on okay so this is how we can change the formatting of date part and for the status part i have one code we can simply select this range so what i want here if i will type here one automatically it will change to done if i will type here minus one it will automatically change to pending so we will select this range we can press ctrl one and here we can use the custom formatting i've already copied that formatting i'm just going to paste this by pressing ctrl v you will get this formatting in description you can check out the description to get this formatting. If I click on OK, now you can see we our formatting, our formatting is applied. Now if I will press 1 here, I will get done. If I will press minus 1, I will get pending. 1, minus 1 like this. So this is how you can use custom formatting in Excel. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video. And if you want to learn Excel like this, you can join my paid courses that are available on my short and clear Excel app. You can download the app. You will get the link in description. Go and download right now.